What's going on everyone? Rich Lee here, and today it's time to kick off the second season of my Oxford United Road to Glory series. And I'm feeling pretty awesome at the moment. I'm off to Wembley later to see the Johnson's Paint final, Oxford United against Barnsley. I'm feeling confident we're gonna win it, and it should be awesome. Anyway though, let's progress with this second season, and let's see how we do this time. We won the title last season, I'm expecting the same again this season, let's go and make it happen. Right then, so I feel that we need to add another striker to the squad, preferably someone speedy, and I've spotted this guy, Franco. He's an Argentinian striker, 19 years old, he's got low low work rates which some might see as a bit of a problem, but... Personally, I don't really mind when the player's a centre forward or a striker. I don't really feel it matters so much, but the one-star weak foot will let him down. But yeah, three-star skill moves, very solid physicals, good ball control, good dribbling. Looks like a set-piece specialist. This player could be a real hidden gem. And I'm also going to be making a push for this player as well. Again, another Argentinian player, 16 years old, 5 foot 11, medium low work rates, two-star weak foot, three-star skills, really nice physical stats. Technicals need some work, but as I said before, he's only 16, so he should have a lot of growth left in him. And the board expect us to gain automatic promotion, which is fair enough. They've given us a budget of a million pounds, not too bad at all, and they want us to reach the last 32 of the cup. I reckon we can probably squeeze a bit more money out of them though, so I'm asking for another half a million. The board won't give us another half a million, but I'll take what I can get. And these are the pre-season tournaments we've been invited to, the European International Cup, the Continental Shield and the Champions Trophy. I'm going to go for the European Continental Shield. It's only 100k less than the European International Cup. It's a lower difficulty and I feel like that's the best decision. We've had a loan offer come in for Callum O'Dowder. He's feeling homesick at the moment so I'm going to send him out on a short term loan, offer him a new contract and he should become settled again. And Franco Gem has accepted his contract offer so he joins us just in time for the first friendly. Sebastian Push on the other hand wants to know his squad role. So I'm offering him a role as a squad rotation player. Franco Gem is 64 rated at 19. Some of his stats are absolutely exceptional and I'm very happy to have signed him. And the trick of sending Callum O'Dowder out on loan has worked. He's happy again and I'm absolutely delighted. Time to give some of the new players a chance now then as we come up against Excelsior in the first friendly of the season. Jordan Bowery's on the ball now and plays that back to Che Adams. He sees the run of Bowery. I was trying to play it to someone else there in fact but it falls to Bowery. He goes down in the box. We go for the shot. I thought we were going to win a penalty there, but it didn't quite happen. And we've won a corner instead. So Lundstrom's on the ball now and plays that forward for Circum. He plays that off to Barry. I believe he was offside and it's a stop by the keeper anyway. And in fact, he was onside, so it would have counted. So Duncan Watmore's on the ball now and crosses that one over. The keeper's got it away. It drops here for Lundstrom. He takes a crack at goal, blocks by the first man. Barry's on the ball now. He's going to turn his man here. Oh, that was awful. Banton's on the ball now then. Plays that forward for Che Adams. What can we do here? Adams is waiting for the run of Angelino. He plays that forward. I'm going to cross this one over with Angelino to the back post of Bowery. And I thought that was a goal. Excelsior have got a free kick here now then. Late on in the first half. That's not a bad ball at all. We've got it away to Lundstrom. He's going to look for the run of Jason Banton. He's looking for a pass here to Lundstrom. What on earth was that? He runs into trouble. And now Excelsior on the attack. Are they going to make the most of this situation? Not a bad ball forward. What are my defenders doing? This is going to be 1-0. No, it's straight at Fennec, thankfully. Che Adams is on the ball now then. Plays that forward for Angelino. What can the left back do here? He's working the ball forward. He's going to cross that one over into the box. Not a bad ball at all. Can we score this? No. And here come Excelsior. Are they going to steal a goal here? We've been the better team so far. I reckon they're going to score though. We've been wasteful and this looks dodgy. Don't let them score, lads. Well done. We've managed to get it away just about, but we've given it straight back to them. This is pathetic. Okay, we've got it back again. Let's make sure we keep hold of the ball now. Che Adams, play that forward for Bowery. Banton's making the run. This looks good. We've got no one in the box at the moment, though, so Banton's going to have to hold it up. Gets around his man. I'm just going to go for the shot. And I believe we've won a corner. Nope, it's a goal kick. Duncan Watmore stolen the ball now and plays that through for Banton. He spots the run of Raute. Can we get a goal here? Make it 1-0. What on earth was that Raute? He should have done so much better. Franco jem has been brought on as a sub as well now then. What can he do? He hasn't got a right foot. So I'm going to have to try and work this onto his left foot if possible. I played that through to Ruffles in fact. And he hits it straight at the keeper. And that's the final whistle. It's a 0-0 draw. But we played pretty well there to be honest. 11 shots, 5 on target. We just couldn't 
couldn't find the breakthrough, and Sebastian Push has now accepted his contract offer, so welcome to Oxford United. He's only 58 rated, but at just 16 years old, I've got very high hopes for him. Right then, so we picked up a 0-0 draw in the first game, Let's see how we do this time. So Lundstrom's on the ball now and plays that to Banton who hits it and that's a good stop by the keeper. Lundstrom's on the ball now and threads that forward and I believe he was offside. No, it's 1-0. I thought that was offside for sure but Adams has found the back of the net and it counts. Here they come now then. Are they going to get an equaliser? They've cut that back. That looks promising. And he's hit the post. He's got another chance. This the equaliser. It's 1-1. Lundstrom's on the ball now then. What can he do here? He's going to go for a shot if possible. They try and take him out and they fail. He's got around another one. Going to go for the shot now. Oh dear. And here they come on the attack. They're looking promising once again. But what on earth was that shot? That was shocking. We've got the ball with Che Adams now. He moves that forward. Oh, my passing is so bad in this game. They're going to score again now, aren't they? They played it forward. Good passing football, and that's over the bar. Here they come again now, then. They're looking promising. That's straight at Fennec, and we've managed to get rid of it, thankfully. Can we get an attack of our own on now, though? Che Adams is on the ball. Plays that forward for Lundstrom. He's going to look for the pass to Banton. That was dodgy. And he loses it. And here comes Kolstad down the wing. He's going to cross that one over. Not a bad ball at all. Good stop by Fennec. So Jem's going to steal the ball now here, is he? He gets taken down in the box and it's a penalty. The new man has made a difference already. He's got too much pace. He's been brought down. And we've got a chance from the spot. Jem won the penalty so he can take it as well. Can he convert it? Yes, he can. It's 2-1. Really well taken penalty. And the player got sent off as well. So we're playing against 10 men for the rest of the match. Jem's on the ball now then moves that out wide for Kemar Roof he's gonna cross that one over who on earth was that even two here they come down the wing now then don't let them score they've only got 10 men but that ball wasn't very good at all are they gonna keep it in yes they are just about I don't know how he managed that we've got the challenge in there though they've still got control of it and it's out of play here they come once again now then that's dangerous we just about managed to clear that they look good still even though they've only got 10 men they're awesome I don't know what it is about this team. I've never even heard of them. I don't know how to say their name, but they're very good at football anyway. Raute's on the ball here. He's going to take on his man and doesn't make it happen. He's won the ball back though. Can we do something here with Raute? He's searching for the pass. Plays that off to Circum. He's going to take a crack at goal. Gets blocked. They played it back to the keeper and they're going to get rid of it. And here they come once again looking dangerous. They've got another chance. Let's get rid, lads. This team is so good. Who are they? And here they come once again. They've got the attack away and that's off the bar. That was a beautiful strike. They've got another chance. But thankfully, Fenix got it covered. And I'm just going to hold on to that for a while. We need a bit of a chance to relax. And that's the final whistle. That team were awesome. But we've managed to pick up a 2-1 win. Which, looking at the stats, we did not deserve at all. And for the final group game, we're coming up against Canberra. And the pressure is really well and truly on here, to be honest. Anything less than a win, and we could well drop to third. So Ruffles is on the ball now, and plays that out wide for Che Adams. Can he get onto this one? I don't think he's going to keep that in. He might do, but what on earth was that? Che Adams is on the ball now, and moves that out wide for Duncan Watmore. He's searching for the pass into the box, crosses that one over. I've got a player down in the box. Can he get onto this one? He can, but he knocks it out of play. And here come Camber down the wing. That's not a bad ball over. Fenix got it covered, though. Throws that out to Che Adams and we've got a chance to work something here. Adams plays that across to Ruffles. He's going to search for the pass forward to Bowery. He moves it on to Adams. This is a good worked move here. Get around my man. Looking for the pass. Running into trouble there. Managed to get around him. We're going to play that off to Lundstrom. And I'm just going to take a crack at goal. Good stop by the keeper. Raute's picked up an injury. So on comes Push in his place for the second half. And Push is making an immediate impact here. What can he do? He's running into trouble but somehow manages to get around his man. He gets around another one. He sent the player flying there. And I'm not too sure what to do. Push can't shoot. I believe he's got like 32 finishing or something. So yeah, shooting isn't an option with him. But there you go. Josh Ruffles is on the ball now. He's going to move that down the line for Watmore, who crosses that into the box. Oh, that was awful. And here come Camber down the wing. They've not had many opportunities in this game, and we managed to get that one clear. Ruffles is on the ball. Plays that off to Lundstrom. He's going to move it forward for Push. And what can we do here with Push? He's going to play that out wide. What on earth was that ball? I tried to play it out wide, but it didn't work at all. And I still nearly got there. I don't know how that nearly worked out. Angelino's running forward with the ball now. Then working his way into the box. Goes for goal. That's off the bar. And we've got a corner. And Adams is on the ball now. Then moves that down the line to Angelino. What can he do here? He takes on his man. He's already had one shot off the crossbar. He's working his way into the box. Gets taken down ref, does he? 
No, we've got a corner. So I'm going to play this one short to Josh Ruffles. What can he do with this one? He searches for the pass, plays it off to Che Adams. Che Adams is going to look for a pass now. In fact, he's just going to work it into the box himself. Goes down. Oh, he's got the ball again. How did he get up so quickly? I have no idea. But he's taken on his man again and fails. And Canberra have got a late free kick here. They play that one short. They've worked it forward. Go for goal. Straight at Fennec. Josh Ruffles is on the ball now then. Plays that forward for Che Adams. Can we get a late goal here? Adams is going to cross that one over. Not a bad ball at all. What on earth happened there? I thought we were going to score. Angelino's on the ball now then. And that's the final whistle. It's a nil-nil draw. Will it be enough to qualify for the next round? I'm not too sure. Nope. Despite getting five points and not losing any of our games... We got knocked out of the group stage. We did get an extra 400 grand for our budget though, so that'll definitely come in handy. And John Suter is a player that's been on my radar since the very start of this series. He's a very promising young Scottish centre-back or CDM, 69 rated at 19. Let's make a bid for him. And I'm going to promote Tom Roberts to the first team. He's a 63 rated goalkeeper. He's only 6 foot 1, so I'm probably never going to use him as a goalkeeper myself, but we can promote him to the first team, sell him on in the future, and make a bit of money out of him. Dundee United want a bit more money for John Suter. They've asked for 1.2 million. I'm going to offer his value and take it from there. And I decided to put James Duckworth on the loan list. I can't see him getting much first team football this season, so it makes sense to loan him out, allow him to get more first team experience, and he'll be spending the season at Colchester. And Dundee United have accepted our bid for John Suter. I'm not going to offer him a squad role at this point. I'm just going to try offering him a contract, and if he accepts that, that'll be awesome. And we've had a bid come in for Alex McDonald from Crew. If they can offer us a quarter of a million, I'm very much willing to accept that. And Crew Alexander are prepared to pay a quarter of a million for Alex McDonald, so it looks like he's going to be leaving the club. And John Suter has accepted a contract offer. He didn't want a squad role, but he did want six grand a week, which makes him the highest paid player at the club, which is fine. He's a very good player, and I'm happy to pay him that. John Suter, welcome to Oxford United. And I'll finish off the episode there, so thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time when we absolutely smash our bitter rivals, Swindon Town.